Leah from Robo Wunderkind. These videos are created in order to help you best use the Robo Wunderkind set to maximize your students' creative potential. We hope that this will be an exciting journey with your class in learning all about robotics, coding, and a creative design and engineering mindset. This series will break down the basics of our kit, from the Robo Wunderkind blocks to our app interfaces of Robo Live, Robo Code, and Robo Block interfaces, all the way to some teaching materials. Don't worry if you have little to no robotics or programming experience. We do our best to make sure everything is broken down in clear terms to tell you what you need to know to get started. This video will be focused on explaining the types of education kits, a quick overview of the Robo Wunderkind blocks included in each kit and their functions, and lastly, a detailed look at the main block. So first of all, we'll talk about the types of education kits. Our education kits come in two different options. We have the standard education kit, which contains all the basics to get started coding with Robo Wunderkind, and the extension education kit, which contains more advanced blocks and goodies to complete more elaborate and complex builds and codes. Note that we do not sell the main block with the extension kit. This kit is intended to enhance and extend the standard education kit. Okay, now let's take a closer look at the contents of the basic education kit. There is a color logic behind all of the Robo Wunderkind blocks that is connected to the blocks function in the Robo Wunderkind interfaces. This logic helps students to learn and remember blocks functions through cognitive associations. So the main block is orange. It contains the embedded computer and battery to power and control the other blocks. There is also a speaker where the sound is out in your code is output. This means everything connected to the sounds functionality in the Robo Wunderkind app will be orange. There are nine round faces on the main block to which different blocks can be connected. Okay, visual. So this is the RGB light that produces different light levels and colors and it's yellow. It's an add-on block, which means that it can be directly connected to the main block or any other block and the electricity will go through the small pogo pins on the base of the park, like so. Now for motion. There are three smart motor blocks in the basic education kit, and they are blue. The smart motor can be attached to another block anywhere, except for the rotating part. This does not contain the round phases. Uh, without the round phases, no electricity can travel through it and establish a connection. In the projects, this part is mostly used to attach the wheels or any other functional gray parts. Sensing, the distant sensor, which is this one. Uh, this is the block that measures the distance between the block and an object or a person. You'll need a type of connector to connect it to another block. It works by emitting a sound wave and calculating the distance it takes to bounce back. It's similar to how sonar technologies work. All right, the push button. This is the other center. It's a button that can trigger events or parts of your code. It doesn't need a connector since it has the pins already in the piece at the back. Okay, the line follower. This works by detecting edges or lines. It can detect black lines on white paper with a line width from seven to 15 millimeters. The line follower can also detect the edge of a table, for example, and it can follow code to stop when it becomes close to the edge. Okay, now let's talk about our connectors. The wired connector is a cable that can connect two blocks to allow for movement, distance, or a setup that requires separate blocks. The connector block, this one, is a block with connection phases on all six sides of the block, and it's useful for as a connector or a structural part of the build. Also, these are our universal connectors. These are little green uh, pieces that can fit in between two blocks to connect them, and it's got these little pogo pins you can use either side for your build. Functional parts. So these don't have electricity going through, but it's necessary for some build construction. The big wheel, these ones, are uh, very versatile pieces that can be used as a part of construction builds, such as um, a wheel, typically on the rotating part of the smart motor. So the smart motor rotating piece moves. Or it can be used to uh, be a part of the construction of your build, for example, as a stand or a base of on your main block. Okay. All right. Then you have the small wheel. This little wheel is another functional part that is used to help balance and support movement within your build. 
Lastly, we have these little building block adapters um, that can be used with building blocks as a part of your construction or decoration detail for your robo build. All right, now we'll talk briefly about the blocks inside the education extension kit. First of all, in visuals, uh, the extension kit comes with another RGB light as well as the LED display block. This is a super cool block that allows you to use images, text, or animation in your code. This can really open up a lot of ideas for storytelling and communication within your student's code. All right, sensors. The Edge Extension Kit comes with several more sensors that can really enhance and allow your students to make more complex codes. The kit comes with an additional push button, this guy, as well as um, the, um, the, the light sensor, is this sensing? This block works by calculating the amount of light intensity it receives. It can also be used to trigger events in your code. The motion sensor, it detects motion via infrared radiation detection technology, which means that it detects the heat from a person and will notice if a hand waves in front of the motion sensor, for example. All right, then we have the accelerometer block. The accelerometer is a block that has an accelerometer and a gyroscope within the block, which means that it can detect when the robo build is picked up or moved. The sensing functionality can make it trigger events when the robo set is moved or turned. Okay, so that's the overview of what each block does in your education kit. And I'll talk a little bit about how to use and maintain the main block. Since the main block is the main computer of the robo set, we want to make sure that it always has enough battery to function during an entire session with the robo set. So make sure that your main block is fully charged and up to date with the latest release from our robo Wunderkind app. I hope that helped give you a general overview of what each block does. In the next videos, we'll take a look at the robo Wunderkind app and other teaching materials. See you in the next video.